Greetings from the road. This is Freighter Jim. I'm here with Eric Barrett in Auburn, California. Eric's going to explain to the new owner the startup procedure for this 1914 Model T. Keep in mind this doesn't apply to all Model T's. It applies to this car. Every Model T has little idiosyncrasies that make it unique for starting. So this applies to this car, but it applies also to most Model T's. So take it away, Eric. All right, so starting from cold, generally I take the mixture control knob and open it up one quarter turn. Okay, so let's go over here and let's see what he's referring to. This, this is our mixture control knob. All right. Now, right now, it's it's set where it's running well when it's warmed up and you're in normal driving conditions. Because you conditions. drove the car down here. You're right. So, when you start it up dead cold, you're going to open this up about a quarter turn. Okay. Okay. And then once it's running and it starts to warm up, you can lean it back out to the same position. Okay. And then that can also be uh, adjusted while you're driving. So when you're when you're running down the road, it's best to have a helper do that. But <clears throat> when you got one of these running, you turn that knob in until it begins to stumble and 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 complain. <clears throat> and then you open it back up about a quarter turn, and that's where they seem to be their happiest. <clears throat> okay. This is the choke. This car would not originally had a choke inside the car because you didn't need one because you didn't have a starter. And so, that choke is right alongside the right side along, of the coil right box. Right alongside the coil box. Okay. So to activate the choke, you pull back on you it. Pull back on it. All right. So, when you're getting ready to start, you turn this over to battery. There's two positions. That's battery, that's magneto. Okay. For starting, you turn it over to battery. Now, the reason it's interesting to point this out, the, this particular year model didn't come with an electric starter, but Eric has added that. We've, we've uh, retrofitted it to something that would be newer than 1919 when the starter first came out. Okay. All right, so here's... Ignition switch, that's battery, that's magneto. So you always start on battery. Okay. Then the spark timing has to be retarded. The now, left, now the for you folks lever. that don't know, on the left is the what you would refer to, again, Eric. Spark advance. Spark advance, which is kind of distributor position for those that want to relate. That's what it does. Yeah. So you, you can manually adjust the ignition timing on a Model T. Okay. So for starting, this lever goes all the way up. All the way up, as far as it'll go. This is your throttle lever. That's your throttle, on the right. Up, up is idle, down is wide open throttle. So generally you want to give it just, just a little bit of throttle. So you want to come off idle, come down a little bit. On your on your timing, you want to be all the way up. All the way up on the on the timing, just about an inch or, inch or so down on the, on the throttle lever. Okay. Okay, so. You want to come over here, look underneath the front seat right behind the brake lever. Okay. There are two switches there. All right. The bottom one is a push button and that activates the starter. All right. The top one is to turn on the lights. Okay. So when you're ready to start, if you start it cold, you're going to use some choke and then push that button. And you know what I like about this, Eric, and I've never seen this before? No one's ever done that. They normally put a foot starter in. This allows you, if you've got your Model T blocked in the morning, to hit that switch from outside the car to warm it up. You don't have to be in the car to start it. What a good idea. Okay. And I found that the, the foot starter buttons tend to get in the way. Right. And you accidentally it's a step very it, good idea. And you accidentally step on it while the car is already running. It's right. not good for the starter. No. So this is way out of the way, so you're not going to accidentally... So in case I didn't get it on the earlier one, I'm going to come over to this side, and Eric's going to show us again, because i got a better angle. You see the throttle position here. Throttle position is about there. Right. We're Talking on battery. About... We're going to come over here. There's that starter button. Right. The light is above it, so Eric's going to go gonna ahead and... make sure that the brake is all the way brake, engaged. The brake is all the way back to be engaged, all the way in the rear. Okay, so and here we go. If, if you're starting cold, you're going to give it a couple turns with the choke. Okay. And then... Look how that starts right up. But Eric drove it down here from his place. Okay. It, it starts easily when it's cold. It's not a problem, but you just have to have a little choke. Now, Eric's going to show us, again, on, on the left is your timing. Once it's running... You can advance the timing. Okay. You, you can hear the difference. Now, is that the only throttle position on this car? Is on the steering? No. Nope. This is the only throttle. That's the only throttle. So you don't have a throttle down at the foot. There is no gas pedal. Okay. This, this is the throttle. That's what you have. Now, how do we kill this? All right. So, 
what you can do when it's running, <laughs> when it's running, you can switch it over to Magneto. And you want to do that because the car is designed to run on Magneto and it runs better on the Magneto than it does on battery. So once you started it and it's idled out, you want to turn it over to Mag. Switch it over to Magneto. Okay. And so then you want to make sure you've got that choke pushed back all the way. Yes, make sure it's all the way in. So we're in the running position right now. So the simple running down the road, how do we want to stop the car? Okay, you're, you're done driving. You're, it's hard to spark. And you go to the center position. Go That's the, the center, posi center position. Okay, so we're going to start it up again, and then Eric's going to come over, and he's going to show how to shut off the gas. We're going to we're going to uh, run the car. Well, I'll tell you before we do that, I'm going to end the video. Eric, why don't you just show us where the fuel shutoff is? It's over on this side, I believe, by the firewall. He'll show you how to shut it off, and then we won't actually shut the car off because I got to move things around to load this up. What a beautiful car, what a beautiful job. So here's your fuel shutoff. This is the fuel shutoff. Right, see the when orientation the, of the valve? When the lever is lined up with the gas line, right. it's on. Right. To turn it off, you simply turn it in a quarter turn. Okay, and that, all right. That shuts out the fuel flow for when you have it parked for long, you know, long periods of time. So you folks, just so off. you know, I've transported over 400 Model T's. I always run in the carburetor dry. I shut the fuel off because it, it it minimizes fuel leakage inside the trailer. Okay, thank you, Eric. We're gonna go ahead and load this up and then go to breakfast. Everybody out there, drive safe, arrive alive. This is Freighter Jim. Have a good Memorial Day weekend.